baby. I have a surprise for you. We're going away for the weekend. <laughs> it's a surprise, silly. No, oh, you'll see. Well, we are leaving soon. I already took the liberty of packing your stuff while you slept. You really do sleep so deeply, don't you? <laughs> and it's so cute. What's that now? I need to stop planning these things so spontaneously, without telling you in advance. <laughs> <laughs> well, baby, spontaneity is the spice of life. Especially when my life is already so planned and organized. Now, get that cutie booty of yours out of bed and into something a little more appropriate for leaving the mansion. Breakfast is on the table. I got it all ready for you. I didn't spend so much effort into cooking classes just to put it to waste. Rightio, eat up, and when you're done, we'll go. Ahem, <clears throat> baby, let's go. No, no helicopter this time. Uh, I don't know. How about this? You pick a car for us to take. Yes, baby. This one? You got it. I said it's a surprise. You will see soon enough. What's that, sweetheart? You're hungry? <laughs> then you should have eaten the breakfast I prepared for you. How hurt I am. <laughs> I know it was very early. Well, how about that? We are approaching a service station. And they have a Taco Bell. Are you in the mood for a Taco Bell? Then we'll stop there for a bit. We have time. been to a Taco Bell in years. I must go back again. I had forgotten quite how delectable fast food can be. <laughs> oh, to think how much of a snob I have become. Unintentional, I assure you. Mm. Oh? Mm. I need to get this, sorry. One moment, please. Mm. Hello? Yes, speaking. Oh, um, is that so? That sounds quite troublesome. Today? I'm afraid I cannot do today. What? Ah, uh, very well. Today it is. So soon, I... Uh, yes, 
I will be on my way. No oh, bollocks. Shit. I am so sorry, sweetie. It seems we need to postpone our little holiday. Something rather unfortunate happened. A circumstance I did not foresee. Well, you may as well know, since you are in on all my financial dirty secrets. One of my big investors had assets in one of my offshore accounts. You know, tax evasion, that sort of thing. And it seems that my facility over there has been vandalized. Millions, no, billions of dollars worth of lab equipment and supplies have been destroyed, or even stolen. It was a pharmaceutical company. I mean, I'm no expert in the field, but I think they were working on a non-injectable form of insulin. A tablet, more to speak. It is a treatment for diabetes, I think. But essentially a wonder tablet that makes it a lot easier to take than other forms. Well, no. Let me explain. My investor had his money in an offshore account. And I was using money from that account to fund the project. <laughs> a strategical business move. I would get a higher return. Should the tablet be successful. And my investor would get a chunk of the profits. Ideally. But the problem is, I didn't tell him. He just thought his money was safe. Ah, I'm in trouble. But don't worry, I'm quite good at this by now. But unfortunately for you, I need to attend the conference which happens to be very close by. And I do not have time to return you home. I am truly sorry, baby. But you're going to have to come with me. I will reward you, of course. Thank you for your understanding. Now, let's go. Okay, we're here. Damn traffic. I'm running late. Ooh. Fuck, wait. I need to use the restroom. <sighs> Quite badly, actually. But damn Taco Bell. Mm, I'm going to need you to run ahead. No, no, baby. Don't you worry. You just need to go and tell them that I am on the toilet. And just go ahead to the room at the end of the corridor. No need to knock. Just go in. Thank you, baby. You are a lifesaver. Well... Aren't you just the cutest little darling? Are you lost, honey? Honey bun. Just who are you, and what are you doing here? That there is uh, Green's plaything. Green? He's here. Well, where the hell is he? Aw, oh, you poor thing. <sighs> Green sends you to do his dirty work. You should have chosen me, honey bun. And will you stop creeping on them, Mr. Tones? You are making them shy. Ah, oh, now. There's no need to be shy from me. I'm just a friendly face. Here to make friends. Trust me, that won't work on them. Annoyingly loyal to... Green. Even calls him Daddy. Ugh. What's that now? You already have a daddy. <laughs> well, hun, I wasn't asking. 
Why don't you stick with me for the night? You and I will be best friends by the end of this. Back off tones. Once they see green's true colors, they are mine. Stop making a scene. What kind of fine establishment uses one ply toilet paper? My shit went right through when wiping my ass, all over my fingers. Oh, and you'll probably need a plumber after that. Green, what a pleasant surprise! Hello again, Green. So soon too. You have got to be kidding me. Sit down, Green. I do not like to be kept waiting, nor am I in the habit of making small talk with people I don't like. Of course, sir. My apologies. Good. Now that you're all here, there's much to discuss. Starting with you, Green. Oh? I am to believe that word reached you about the incident. Is that right? Yes. Good. Then it saves me the effort of explaining, so I'll cut right to the chase. Because of your recklessness, I've lost a larger sum of money than I care to count. In fact, no, I do care, and I did count it. And quite frankly, I want it back, with interest. That was... unfortunate. A rather unseen circumstance. I made personal losses too, I'll have you know. Be quiet, Green. I haven't finished yet. Money is something you no longer seem to care about all that much. You clearly have too much of it. So, as part of our agreement, I require some collateral. Of course. How much do you want? Oh, Green. Not everything is about money. I'm after more than that. Respect. You dirtied my family's name with my rather humiliating investment. So, I'll take something dear from you. What do you want? He has four Bugattis he seems to be very fond of. Oh, shut up, Shy. Four, you say? That gold one outside wouldn't be yours, would it? It's revolting and quite unsightly. I had it removed from the public eye. No, not at all. That would belong to my dear friend, Mr. Shy. Where is it? Where is my Bugatti? Sit down, Mr. Shy. I assure you, not a scratch was left on it. A pity you didn't have it scrapped. Enough, Green. Now, back to what I was saying. I want compensation. I want collateral. I want your concubine. Who? Oh, you mean my baby? <laughs> oh, they're not for sale, I can assure you. Oh, Green. You seem to have no idea what you're involved in. You see, despite my ways, I am a simple man. I see what I want, and I take it. Well, it's a pity you didn't take any advice in fashion. Excuse me? Oh, darling. Where do I start? A black suit? Where is the color? At least I wear mine fashionably. It has been a staple in my attire. But you? Look as though you walked out of a thrift store after finding what you thought to be a good deal on a suit jacket. <laughs> and your pocket square is boring and basic. White, even. And not fluffed up. Again, no color, no passion. Your sleeves are far too big for you. And your sideburns. Goodness me, I thought we left that behind in the 60s. I can recommend you a few good barber shops. And don't worry, I will pay for them. I consider it a good deed to the public, sparing them the eyesore of laying their eyes on that anime-style haircut. I will not be spoken to like that. Do you have any idea who I am? Of course I do. I make a habit of getting to know every one of my investors personally. Where their money comes from, so it isn't traceable. And to prevent the possibility of the police acting as false clients. So yes, Mr. Valentine, I know who you are. Son to Lord Valentine, 
the head of a crime syndicate and a petty one at that. So if I were to do real business with your family, I would speak to the man in charge only. Not a little boy with a big name. I just need to snap my fingers and my men will storm into this room and kill you. And then I will take your concubine. Such a shame to let those good looks go to waste. To the likes of you. Your men? Come now. Your father doesn't even know you are here. <laughs> what an embarrassment you are, spending his money like that without telling him. Hence he would not have given you his men to babysit you. You hired mercenaries to protect you. From a reputable black market guns for hire organization. Established. By me. They may have been hired by you, but they work for me. I even got one to hand me a real roll of toilet paper. What? what You demand my presence, without notice, without respect. You threaten me and my baby, and proceed to call them a concubine. Out of courtesy, I will see to it that you get your money back. Such a meagre sum of money. So pathetic. But I advise you, in the future, try to know who you are giving money to. Otherwise, it is quite a recipe for disaster. Come now, baby. This has worked up quite an appetite. I can smell food from next door. I must say, Mr. Valentine, you spoil us. Even if it is just McDonald's. Very well, everyone. Let's have a lunch break. Come, baby. Let's see here. Cold chips. A Big Mac. <laughs> we really are spoiled for choice. Honey bun! Holy crap! You are creepy as shit, sneaking up on us like that. Oh, um, and you, turns. Oh, be nice. Babies are quite impressionable. We don't want yours to end up like... You. Besides, we just want to talk with them. Well, you better make this quick. This cold food is about to get even colder. Don't mind us, honey bun. We just wanted to say hi. I'm just an honorable guy. Trying to make friends. As always. Right, well, the two of you have said enough. Good talk. Now please, piss off. You stay out of this, Mr. Green. This is between me and my new friend. I take it you now know about me. Nope, I'm afraid not. Basically, to keep this brief, he's very similar to Mr. Shire, a former business rival. Former? That's right. Hilarious. But anyway, honey bun, it's been a while since we last met, and I take it you have had... Um, plenty of time to reconsider? I want you, eh, you, to be my sugar baby. <laughs> Smoothly said, but yes, we do. The offer still stands. Darling, dear, your current daddy is a very mean and controlling person. You must have seen how everyone fears him. This is true, as I said. He has been manipulating you, making you feel dependent on him. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? This again? You can use this opportunity to be mine. Let me be your daddy. Anything you want, name it. Who do you like more? I see I should make a habit of carrying a firearm with me. Now, hold your horses. What's wrong? <laughs> Scared they'll choose me over you. Ouch. <laughs> Rejected. Sorry, Tones. It's just between me and Green. Ugh, now. <laughs> Fine. Oh, come on. You still say no? Oh, would you piss off? Baby. It seems we need to start using mosquito repellent. I hope it works on other forms of pests, too. My turn. 
That's it. We're leaving. Never again. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Valentine. The Coles McDonald's and one ply toilet paper really made for a marvellous welcome. Well, baby, it seems you managed to riz every single person in that conference. <laughs> of course they all want you. Bit too bad. You are mine. Or oh, mine. Now, I did promise you that I would reward you of anything you want. But now, after putting you through all that, I will give you any two things you want. You have all the time in the world to think. Hmm? What now? One moment, please. Hello? Yes, speaking. Is that so? How very interesting. I want my top spy on him. Monitor his every move. Oh, and have my top hacker on it too. I want to know everything on his phone. His computer. Heck, I even want to know his PIN number. Very good. Thank you. It would appear that the disaster of the laboratory was likely a deliberate incident. Mr. Shy. Honestly, I should have expected it. This was all he is doing. It would seem that he has officially declared a war on me. Hmm. Little does he know about my nuclear missiles I own. I'm just kidding, baby. <laughs> oh, don't you worry, your pretty little self. It's not a problem at all. Daddy will sort this out. And maybe... You can see just how dominant I can be in any given situation. Heck, well, the thought of flexing my power in front of you excites me 